Hi guys, welcome to a little bit of everything with John and Lee. Hi guys. She's in a video again. <laughs> it's been a while. It has, hasn't it? Um, so today, again, we always like to do things a little bit different on this. I say a little bit different, but it is for us. We always like to do a little bit of everything. And today, we are at the Richard Dunn Sports Centre in Bradford, which has now closed down. That's it, end of an era. They are giving us access to the site. They're going to let us have a have a walk around, see what the facility is in now, see what they're doing, left. see what's left, and uh, yeah, just go have a bit of a bit of a tour, really. Um, so let's not mess around standing here looking at our ugly mugs. Let's get to it. Woo! <laughs> Side. This is the original walkway. I don't think they ever changed anything. To the right is the pool with the slides. All now empty. Look, we have lights. We have new lights. Yay! To the... No, no, that's to the left. Sorry, we're doing it backwards. That's to the left-hand side. Uh, to the right-hand side is the sports hall, which has a very, very nice little stadium to it. So we're going to keep going this way. Richard Dunn Sports Centre. When you're coming in the morning or afternoon, whenever you come for a swim, the old reception area, there's one of the barriers. Now, everything is all being taken apart. The council are on the process of moving everything out uh, at the moment and emptying everything down. Um, this way was where they moved the cafeteria to. Um, it was upstairs the last time that we came. There was a seating area in here, a, whatever it's called, kitchen. What is this? Wow! Like I wonder if that was part of it at one point. Yeah, it's like an old cashier's desk. Look, it's got a little cupboard that opens oh, up. Yeah. You see? This used to open up so that when they were really busy, they could take the cash here. That's freaky. <laughs> so, the pool itself has, like I said, changed over the years. Lots has happened. I mean, look at this. This is incredible. It's, it's kind of sad to see at the same point. Sorry if, it, if it's shaking a bit. We do have new sort of steady things, but I remember swimming here with my, I think she was maybe three or four at the time. She's only five now, but still, I'd probably say three, trying to teach her how to swim did not go very, very well. Now this says that this is five foot six deep. Five foot six deep. Let's see what it is. I think it's bigger than five foot six. Because I'm six foot one. So he's definitely, definitely deeper than that. I mean, this is freaking, look at this, look at it. Look at this. Emptiness behind me. I'm in a swimming pool. And listen. Look at that. I am at the bottom of a swimming pool. Emptiness. Let's keep walking around. So keep on going. Let's go back out of the pool. Back out. Oh, oh, look. A hippo. Scary. What is it? People are going to say, oh, it's not scary. Well, I'm only one in here now. I don't know where Leanne's gone. She's just been that. There is a little kid's pool up here. Let's have a... Let's have a... This is called the hippo pool. Oh, that's not... Whoa, look at that. Oh, we're going to have to see if we can get... What was that noise? Seriously, what was that noise? That was weird. That was really weird. Oh, there's goggles. Oh, look at that. There's goggles. Whoa. Oh, that's mucky. <laughs> it's a very, very dirty kids pool. And that's probably because there's been a, a tree pulled out. Now, I believe that that used to spray water in as well. God, blooming no, this is weird. Go this way. Go back down. Back, 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 back. I reckon we should go in here. Let's have a go in. Go, go, go. You can kind of see why... They've kind of got rid of it. I mean, it, it did need redoing. I mean, you can see the plaster peeling off the walls up there. It is very old. I mean, you're talking 40 years has gone by since this was first created. Let's go down here. This is probably going to be a bit, a bit freaky. I remember this pool being quite deep. So if my voice goes all echoey, that's why. I'm, Jesus, God. Oh, oh, God. Whoa. You can see in here, this used to spin you around like a penny. He's coming down the stairs. This used to spin you around like a penny and then spit you back out. And you used to fall out 
in any angle. Didn't matter. But this used to be full, literally, to, to this mark up there. You can see where the waterline was as well. That's crazy. Okay, let's go up the stairs. You can see how high it is. I thought it would be better giving you this view as well. Yes, I am scared of heights. It's a long climb, I remember that. There's a lot to go, especially if you're a kid. Now, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully is not a word. Hopefully they've not taken anything down yet. As in any of the bolts. I forgot how high up this was. God, I never liked coming up here. Why am I coming up here now? What is the matter with me? Oh, Jesus. See, I told you this was not a good idea for me to come up. Oh my God. That's why I put it on my face, so you can see my face just dropping and dropping and dropping. Here we go. That is freaky. That is scary. Wow. I'm at the top. I'm at the slides, I'm moving very gingerly. Ooh. I'm gonna head back down and I'm not filming it. I'll see you back Ooh. at the bottom. Do not like heights, Jesus. Wow. So, like we said, there's not, not much more else to see in, in here, really. It's more, oh, hang on. Oh, look, 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 look. I forgot about this. I was thinking, where does the other slide come out of? I forgot about this. This is where the other slide comes out of. So as you see, people have already been in to take photos and everything. But yeah, this, this is the lazy, lazy river slide. So, you start at the top, obviously, you come into here, in the surrounding there a little bit, and then it comes, oh no, sorry, it goes in there, the surrounding there, then it comes out, around, then you go into that one, it's right there, come down, out. Now, these are the ones with the tyres in. I don't want to go in too much. into the first bit. So this is where you would come down through one of the thingies. You'd stop in here, have a little bit of a swish around, and then you would go back down there. So we're trying to figure out where, we, where we're going because that's where, right. Because if I'm honest, I only really know the pool side of it. So this was all the sort of stuff that uh, Richard Dunn's used to do loads and loads of stuff. Where if I go, ah, yeah, if she's going that way, I'm going this way. I think we're gonna end up meeting up at some point. I'm gonna go this way because here is the stands for the stadium. So over here is the football pitches, loads and loads of stuff gymnastics, martial arts, football, cricket, everything was done here. Absolutely crazy, but look, you look how old. Look how old these are, look. Look how old these It's really, really super old. Let's go this way. I think we've lost Lee. We'll find out how many far down is there. Uh, we'll go this way again. Very, very freak. I'll tell you something, everybody's like, is it actually like, whoa. Keep going. I can hear voices. I don't, I don't know if that's Lee or if that's somebody. Another squash car. This one. Does, is that, hang on a minute. No, that's a squash car. Oh, this was a spin room. The hell was that? Okay, that wasn't me. That was Lee. Maybe she hurt herself. Maybe we should go look. <laughs> Let's go this way. So, so these are the changing rooms. At least. One of them. Oh, hang on a minute, look at this. Team one, two, three. Cleaning. Is this open? Look at this. Ooh. 
I think I want to go in here. I'm just gonna do this. Look at that. That's freaky. That's locked. Just go in there. That's not nice. So change rooms for football teams or or whatever. Down. Down. Oh, it's it is. Look at this. So we've got toilets again there. I think that's the same. Yeah, it is. It's the same one. Again, freaky noise. God, it smells funny. It's probably because the showers. See, they had all the showers and everything ripped out already, ready to be demolished. Changing room area. Again, another sort of changing area. I think this is the. Yeah, this is the pool one. So this leads to the pool area. So this leads. Look at the look at the lockers and so every, everything just feels so old and and tired. You kind of want to. Is it wrong? You kind of want to sit and go for every lock and go. Is there a pound in there? <laughs> but yeah, I, I I still I'm wondering why is that shut? Why is it shut? Oh no, they're not locked. But do I remember? I can't. I say it's crazy. Look at it. It's barren. You might have either barren wasteland. See, Lee's just stood there like this, hand on hip. Like, will you just hurry up? I've had enough of waiting for you now. No, at all. All right, we've entered into the, uh, the the ladies' bit now. This is the dry side of the ladies' changing rooms. Miss the showers. What? You missed the showers. Oh, I missed the showers. There's nothing in there. They've all been ripped out. Look, it's the same as oh, look a handle. And you can see why, because we were seeing if the water was turned on or anything like that still. No, it's because they've pulled all the showers out. What's in there? What's in there? What's in here? Oh, it's a toilet. Let's go down here. And yes, we can. Wow, look. Whoa. Can we? Yes, we can. So we'll cut across here. This was the um, eye zone, which it's not turned on, so I'm not going to turn it on or anything but we'll we'll cut across see what's over here in here oh no follow those people they unfollow those people in here there's harness why is there lots of harnesses on the floor for running for running oh see the clamp to the wall right uh oh. <laughs> I thought we got stuck then for a second. <laughs> so, this is the sports hall. Back in here again, down on the floor this time. I was up there a moment ago. Now we're down on the floor. Obviously, quite a lot in here. It's huge, absolutely huge. Absolutely massive. I reckon we can get into the gym this way. And we can. So, this is another access into the gym. Oh, right, there is an old climbing wall here as well. But yep, still some gym equipment that they're in the process of her uh, removing, getting rid of. What is in here? Kind of don't want to go into a little bit creepy, just like pull up bars and things, cleaning equipment, weights. Like we said, all this would most likely have been hired to Richard Dunn's and would most likely be removed any day now but you can see uh, again you look at how how dirty the carpet is I know it's closed down now but you can see that it's going to be I can see why it's closing down I mean authorised personnel only just a little canteen room and office for the gym yeah it's just a little fridge, please do not turn off. First aid equipment, that was the door that we were trying to get through. Still not found the sauna. Oh, wow. You can see outside. Wow. I think it's actually a cycle track. I saw a, um, an advert online for advertising at Richard Dunn's Cycle Center. It's like, oh, ooh, okay. This is where all the exercise bikes were. So maybe they did. Classic. Oh, those not exercise bikes. Well, they are. These are cross trainers, and they are exercise bikes as well. Big things. They are, aren't they? They, they? You can see this again. You remember we were saying 
about how old everything is. You look at these. I mean, I, I'm not trying to be myself. I go to the gym pretty much every day. And the ones that we have at our gym are a lot more streamlined than these. These are very ancient. Or they look very ancient. They look very old and old-fashioned. It's like even this. Ours is actually proper steps as well. These, I mean, look at them. They just look so old and out there. I can see why. It's because, I mean, look at this. Look at this, though. Look at the architect. The, this building is absolutely stunning. And he's going to be sad to see it go. Let's head back down the stairs. So, changing rooms. Oh, changing rooms. We've been to changing rooms. That was all part of the same ones. Hmm. I don't know. Elusive sauna. Where are you? Well, this is behind the scenes. Oh, oh, this is behind the scenes. This is just a wall. <laughs> it's a storeroom. Should we head back that way to the stairs or? I don't think there's a way out that way, will there? Right, we're gonna try and head back to the changing rooms. Let's see if we can find this sauna. Okay, definitely has a sauna. So, it must be somewhere down here. Oh. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes look into everywhere. So Lee's just going into the security office and everything's still got CCTV running for obvious reasons. Yeah, the online that they did, so here we go. This is the bar area that they had. It also had a function room, which it did look, I told you it had a function room, which it turned then into the dance studio. So this was the licensed bar area that they had. So this was the bar area. Obviously, everything's already been ripped out. It's all gone. We're not we're not open for business. We're closed. I know. Look how torn up they are, though. As awful as it sounds, I am sad to see this place go. But you can see why. You can really see why. Lee's pulling a curtain. But look at the dance studio. So this was the dance studio, but oh, good God. I, I, look at this floor. This is not just it popping up as in thing. Look at look at this. Bouncy bouncy. Look at this. It's it, oh Jesus. Right, this is not safe in here. How on earth could you dance on this? I don't think this was used for a long time. Wow. Crazy. Absolute crazy. Down here, obviously, dance studio, everything like that. And there are private rooms. This is private. Let's have a look. Oh, they're locked. That was the dance studio we've just been in. A toilet, changing rooms, what's in there? Is it open? Is it? Oh, it's locked. So, ooh, is this a sauna? No, no that's not the sauna. <laughs> it's a male sauna. It's a male. Oh! We found it. There must be a female sauna somewhere. We found it. We found the sauna. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. So here we go. We actually found the sauna. So let's have a look inside. Oh, okay. Obviously, again, already all been ripped out. All the in inner workings of it. But wow, look at this. Oh, no, it's not. No, no, no. It's still in. It's still in. And it smells like a sauna in here. Oh, you can imagine the fat hairy men sat there. Look, you can even see like butt prints where people sit again. <laughs> Look how old it is. Even this sauna, it looks old. So I think we've pretty much covered everything, haven't we? Yeah, pretty much. So unfortunately, we've got to go. So we're going to head out of Richard Dunn's for the last and final time ever in our life. So we're walking down the big long corridor that you walk into to get back out of here walking past the pool walking past the thing it's been a bit of a somber experience it's been very quiet very eerie yeah like i said last time we were here we actually brought our five-year-old well she was about she's now three five -year -old. no she wasn't the first time we brought her she was 
Six months. Six months, really. Yeah, and then I think we brought again just a touch older. God. But yeah, pretty much. That's it. Oh, that is sad. But the good news is that even though this fantastic, wonderful place, I cut you out there. Okay. This fantastic, wonderful place is closed down. Bradford City Council have built a brand new uh, sports centre, yeah. just literally three quarters of a mile. That down way, road. down the road, the Sedberg uh, Sports Centre. Now open. Which is now open, thank God. It does have two pools. Uh, yeah, but it's also got a really weird pool that the level adjusts depending who's using it. So if it's a toddler group, they bring the floor up. Ooh. And then if it's diving, they take it right down. So it's completely modern, totally energy efficient compared to this place. Um, you know, it's been here since the 70s. And, uh, you know... It's, it's just no longer viable, so no. it makes sense. But, you know, it's very sad because the new pool doesn't have the slides. That's, that's the only that's downside. The um, I think that's it from me. Yeah, definitely. Yep. We'll put some pictures in of the outside of the building as well because the main entrance we can't get out of, so we'll go for a walk around now and we'll put some pictures in here so you guys can see the outside yep. before it gets knocked out in April 2020. Yep, so don't forget, guys, like, share and subscribe. Mwah. Love you. Boop.